Okay, um, I want to talk about, oh, I'm such a, okay, I want to talk about, uh, tattoos today in this video, because, um, a lot of times, because on Facebook I've added a bunch of people, so I see a lot of people I don't know, and they'll post like, pictures of their tattoos, or even my friends will post pictures of their tattoos, and then, um, when I see them, I always want to know, like, why would you get that tattoo, what's the significance, blah, 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 or is it just meaningless, you thought it was pretty. Um, I wanted a tattoo for a while, but... Uh, a, I don't know where to put it. B, I'm uh, very sensitive, and I, I, um, I have an okay pain tolerance, but not for needles. I think that being around them makes me tense up too much, and then I pass out when I get my blood and everything taken. But uh, maybe someday I'll get a tattoo. And um, all the tattoos that I'm interested in, though, I've been told don't really fit my personality. So I guess it really shoots it down. I want to get one that doesn't sit with me well because I've seen people with tattoos and I'm like that doesn't really fit you at all um and then it kind of makes it awkward but anyway it's your body you do what you want with it all right um but the idea of tattoos uh, I, a lot of people in my community will get spiritual tattoos they get a picture of uh, I see a lot of the pentagrams or symbols on their bodies um I see a lot of triple moons I see a lot of goddesses different religious symbols like or spiritual symbols like that and then um out of my community, I see a lot of people will get uh, other religious uh, tattoos. It's usually Christian art. I've rarely ever seen anything related to Judaism or Islam or anything of that nature. In fact, I thought I read once that in Judaism it was taboo to get tattooed because your body is supposed to be like the sacred temple. But I guess um, Jewish tattooing is actually on the rise somehow. I was reading about that. That um, people are getting the tree of life on them and they're getting. Uh, other symbols like that written on them, Zion, uh, uh, Star of David, or Sil Solomon, whatever you want to call it, different things like that. Um, I still rarely see Muslims with uh, tattoos, so I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, so I love people who have tattoos for religious uh, reasons, and since most of this blog is spiritual, I'm going to talk about the religious aspects of it. So first off, I want to talk about some of the history, sort of seeing it. I'm not like a tattoo history buff or anything. I've only read a little bit about it but when I first started getting interested in wanting to get a tattoo like I think a, year, like a couple years ago. Um, I know obviously you can't really like look at um, when somebody dies and their flesh is eaten away you can't tell what's been on it. So I know archaeologists when they find bodies they'll find the bones and they'll study the bones for different things and they can find out stuff from that but you can't see the skin so you don't know what's, um, if it's been tattooed. Uh, the only time you can really know um, is if it's been written down or documented or if it's a surviving practice, I suppose. Um, they have found on mummies, though, uh, because of their well-preserved bodies, tattooing, and I, I think I've read. And then um, I'm reading about Vikings being found in bogs. I wonder if they would have had tattooing on them still, if they could uh, see that or not. I should read about that. I'm doing this informational blog, and I'm thinking about um, things I don't know. We're talking about things I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, but I guess... Uh, there weren't always just religious uh, tattoos, even back what did you back then, when tattooing probably first started. Uh, they could have been spiritual religious. They could have been a mark of shame, uh, a mark for, uh, like, a, say you did something heroic in a battle, you get a special mark, or um, the religious things, yeah. There's, like, animal motifs on people, things like that, which is really cool. And then now, some of the things that I found are cool are um, different. I like seeing... Um, different little sigils and uh, alphabets on people that are mean things and then I see um what am I thinking about I totally lost train of thought I like seeing um I just love tattoos in general on people they don't always fit but I'm totally lost now um but things that are different I love different tattoos like I've seen people get have their kids do a drawing and they get that tattoo on them or um they'll have something written out in runes or something on their body which is really interesting and then um yeah, I need to stop this. Okay, I had to stop the video because I totally lost what I was thinking. I didn't want to sit here going, um, 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 um. Okay. Why I was thinking about tattoos. So, I was thinking why, okay, when people get spiritual tattoos, I've heard at least two people talk about they've had different symbols put on their bodies. And, um, I see them as sort of like a charm in a way, putting them on your body, a religious tattoo, or a series of words or something of that nature on your body. Um, or people even talking about getting their kids' names tattooed on them and feeling their... The, the point is, they'll feel their skin tingle where the tattoo is later, 
like if something's wrong and they have a protection symbol on them, like something's coming and they can feel their skin prickle. Or if people have uh, talked to or heard about them, um, they'll have their child's name written on them and then their skin will prickle there when something's wrong with their kid. And I wonder if that's really true or not. I haven't really talked to too many people. I've only heard it like mentioned a couple of times. And when you ask them, they don't. They're just like, "Well, it just started tingling. I don't really know if that means anything." They're like, okay, and then that's it. So I want to know if any of you have had experiences with your um, spiritual or religious tattoos. If they have tingled when something's about to happen, if you're scared or nervous, um, if any other weird things have happened with them. I thought it would be interesting to learn about that. Because the idea of tattoos as a charm is really interesting. Uh, it kind of makes me like want one even more, I, I guess. Um, to have some sort of protective symbol on your body, like embedded into your flesh already. Um, and it's like everlasting. It's, a, it's just a really cool idea, really cool concept, or whatever. Um, and yeah, so I'm promoting religious tattoos. And then I want you to tell me your stories about them later. <laughs> Not to say that you getting like a your pet tattooed on you, or like random symbols, or even your artwork or something, which is cool. Tattoo doesn't really have any meaning, because it does, it's personal meaning to you. But when I'm thinking of spiritual things, I feel like those symbols are connected to something different, something bigger than us, or something um, otherworldly, sort of things in that sense. Because when you're getting them, you're getting them for spiritual reasons. So you've already, from the beginning, you're um, connecting it to something, and the symbol itself is already connected to something before you even put it in your body, generally, unless you're making up a symbol yourself. Um, and yeah, so I want to hear what you have to say on religious tattoos, and if you have any more history you'd like to share with us, or with me and everyone else, on the history of tattoos. It's something that, um, when I, people don't really talk about the history, or like, um, t when you ask somebody about the tattoos, they just say, oh, I got this one because of this, or whatever, or I'm Christian, or I'm Catholic. I'm pagan, I'm Jewish, whatever. And then it doesn't really go farther than that. You just go, oh, cool, and then they walk away. Or I want to know more about it. I want to know more about how it really connects to something or somebody. Because it's in your skin, it's in your body, and your body is supposedly your temple. So I wonder if your temple is sensing something or connecting to something else through that tattoo. Maybe it's even like a portal of sorts or whatever, or like a string connecting you to something bigger. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, please, please tell me... Uh, your, give me some comments or um, something that we can discuss this because I really want to talk to people about it. And uh, yeah, and um, thanks for watching my video again when I'm all messed up, super shiny, I'm using a new moisturizer that's not really absorbing well. Okay, have a good night or a good day, whatever. It's a good night here.